Psychic medium, Tony Green. If it is not morning where you are, good day. Good day, everybody. Uh, just like a side note, no matter what time of day it is, if I run into someone, I say good morning. It could be like straight up midnight. I'm like, hey, good morning. It, technically, midnight might be morning. I don't I don't care. It could be eight at night. I'm like, good morning. I don't know why. I think I just think morning holds so much hope for us for the day. And then as we go through, maybe, you know, yeah. Anyway, that's just a habit I have. Yes. Yes. All right. Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, psychic medium, author, hypnotist, healer, and attempted comedic person. I am not a singer. And anybody who's watched the show more than once knows that and is probably laughing with me right now. Okay. For today's show, as I do on every single show, I am going to be taking callers and answering questions live in the chat. If you are joining us live on YouTube, welcome. There are a lot of people on YouTube this morning. Thank you all for being here with us. Um, uh, if you have a question, please post it. If I can get to it, I will definitely get to it. If I don't answer your question, please repost it because it might be lost in the stream. I take the calls as much as I can in the order that they come in. Sometimes I lose my place taking the calls. It's okay. It's okay. Um, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Uh, if you are calling in to ask a question, press 1. And then the hand will go up on the switchboard and I know that you have a question and I can take that question. Um, if it could be because some people do just listen to the show on their phone, so they don't raise their hand because they don't have a question. But if you do have a question, please make sure you are pushing the one button. You can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Uh, any of those um, <clears throat> venues I am on and you can connect. I do all kinds of um, healings on TikTok. My healings this week, I put out four, uh, three on Monday and one today. And the three on Monday were being able to be closer to everything up above. There was a different healing too. I can't remember what it was though. And then today I did um, Loyal Friends having good and loyal friends, something like that. I can't remember the verbiage, but that's what I was guided to do. And I did it. And that's that. That's that's what I'm, I'm that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, if you are connected to me on any social media venue, YouTube, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, any of them, I will never reach out to you and tell you to get a reading. Um, there are a lot of people out there pretending to be other people. So please don't get scammed. Don't just don't get scammed. It's not a good thing. Never want to be scammed by anyone. Um, if you do want a private reading with me, I do private readings on um, 30 and 60 minutes. And you can connect with me via my website, Tony G, T O N I G dot I N F O. And that is what I have to start the show. So at the beginning, for everybody who's new, there are a lot of new people joining us every single week. Thank you so much, everybody who's here. Um, the uh, At the beginning of the show, I try to honor those who come in to join the show from the other side. Choo -choo. 
Um, and they have sometimes they will give a song they will give a name Uh, the song can be an answer to a question that you've been asking it can be a song that they love a song that you loved a song that you guys used to listen to together um okay okay just let me finish talking first and then i give names it could be their name your name or the name of somebody significant in your life The first name I'm hearing, which is really weird. Oh, my gosh. Lawrence Welk. (laughs) I don't think Lawrence Welk is coming through. (laughs) What I'm going to say is probably either this person or you or together you watched the Lawrence Welk show. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Jessica, hey girl, what's up? Oh. Okay, and hey Sal and Genevieve, hey Modi, Yvonne de la Cruz, hey Yvonne, um, Elizabeth, welcome to the show, welcome back to the show, Sal, Rebecca, and uh, Heather. Patrick's here. Amy May is here. So you guys, I put some songs um, in the um, chat for some of the people who are already here. And I was about to do a song for Chaos. Chaos, by the way, welcome to the show. Chaos, I didn't get to push the send button on your show because the the show st- on your song because the show started. But KS, uh, before I finish with the Lawrence Welk thing, KS, your song is um, it, it's not a song, it's a statement. Um, I just keep hearing, never have I ever, never have I ever. I think that might be like a game people play. Or maybe it's a statement of never have you ever gone through something like what you're going through right now. I don't know, chaos. We need details. Uh, Mo D, uh, your song is, I don't know this song. I don't know this song. Um, Okay, so then they gave me a new song because I don't know that song. And I hope you giggle at this. Akuna Matata. It means no worries. I can't even. I can't even, you guys. I can't even. All righty. Here we go. We're going back to Lawrence Walk now. Messages from the other side and or people from the other side. So the first thing I hear is Lawrence Walk. Whomever this is for, you are just going to know it is for you. You are going to know it is for you. Um, And yes, Lawrence Walk could be for five different people in five different states or two different countries, it doesn't even matter. If Lawrence Welk was something that you enjoyed or your person enjoyed, your mom, your dad, your gramps, um, your pops, whomever, that's that message is for you. And yes, it can be for somebody else and also be for you. The next, okay, so that's out. And then I'm hearing Jerry Lee Lewis again, you guys, Jerry Lee Lewis. So uh, they're not giving me specific songs, probably again, because I do not know them. But Jerry Lee Lewis is coming through. And then I hear, great balls of fire. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I do have an imagination. I could just say that much, folks. And then I am (laughs) seeing... Uh, okay, Kim is saying, uh, mom listens every day. Love that, Kim. Love that. Okay, um, great balls of fire. Okay, Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> is that a Jerry Lee Lewis song, by the way? Okay, focus, focus, focus. Um, and then I'm I'm seeing um oh 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 um love me tender by Elvis Presley, Love Me Tender is coming through. I can't even. Right, guys? 
Yeah, love me tender. Okay, so who for whomever that is for, I'm going to do a couple more songs and then I'm going to go to names of loved ones on the other side. But um, then um, Michael Jackson, the king of pop, is coming through with I'm bad, I'm bad, you know it, I'm bad. Um, and then we have... Um, that song, ooh, baby, you know what that's worth? You make heaven a place on earth. So, uh, uh, something, something, when the night, uh, that song, whomever that's for, that that is for you. And then the next song, this is, I'm, I'm going to try to let this be the last song because it's a polka, the polka. Some, okay, polka, come on. Beer barrel polka. We've got a barrel of fun. Do, do, do. Something, something, something. The blues on the run. Um, okay, we have a plethora of people of all ages up in this joint right now with us. Yeah. Mm hmm. And somebody used to like to drink Pabst, Pabst beer <laughs> or and Blatt's. They're showing me a can of Pabst, red, white, and blue. And then they knocked it off. I think, and then I see Blatt's. And then I see Blatt's. Like maybe they drank and then they didn't drink anymore. Or when they drank, when they were done with their can, they just like for the Pabst. And then I see Blatt's. B L A T Z beer. Okay. And then I see um triple sec. Okay, guys, let's get out of the alcohol genre here. <laughs> let's just let's just walk away from the alcohol now. <laughs> okay. And we have some people here who used to like to drink. Let's just put it that way. One or two people who you like to like tip their cup. Okay, 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 okay. Um okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the names. Now, this could be your name. It could be their name. It could be the name of somebody significant. And the first name I'm hearing is Charlotte. And I do have an aunt named Charlotte on the other side. But I, I feel like this isn't for me because they talk to me. Like, they steady talk to me all the time. They don't need to, like, come on to my show. But somebody who either your name is Charlotte or their name was Charlotte. And I feel like whomever this was for, it's a namesake. So, if there's a Charlotte listening and your one of your ancestors was named Charlotte, they're here with you all the time, all the time. Okay. <clears throat> and then the next the next one is um Okay, the next name that I'm getting is David. And then also the, the initial um, W is coming through. And then, <clears throat> and I don't know, these could be two different situations, but I see David and Webster. So this could be David Webster, or it could be David and then the last name of Webster or the first name of Webster. I don't know. They could be two completely different names or one name. But however it works, whatever it is, I try not to put too much on it because it could mean any and or all of the above. And then the next name that I'm getting is um, Joni. Joni. Oh, I know who this is for. Okay. Um, Joanne. Joanne, who I love dearly and has helped me set up so many events. I don't even know if she watches my show, but your your niece, uh, Christine, is coming through. And she just wants to thank you again for everything that you've done. And she comes through every once in a while on the show to, to say this. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Um, and she just wants you to know she's home and she's with everybody else. Okay. 
Okay, I, that's where I'm going to end the names. If more come through throughout the show, I will definitely um, take it, but do more more names throughout the show. If they come through, I will say them and I will give them to you guys. Now I'm going to go to callers. I'm going to go back and forth between callers and questions online. And if you would like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 and if you have a question or you want to connect with a loved one, push the one button. If you do want to connect with a loved one, please start with an exact name of a loved one. If other loved ones are also speaking, I will give you descriptions or names if I get them. But I need the, to start with just one name. And then if you, um, and then an exact question, okay? And not like what's going to happen over the next six months. That's not an exact question. That's more of a full reading, okay? I do readings where I will answer all of your questions and give you timelines and help you connect with all of your relatives or whomever you want to connect with. But for the sake of the show and trying to help as many people as possible while I'm here, that's where we're going to be. To start the show, we're going to do a clearing. Um, we are all clear. Let's clear that now. We are unclear. Let's clear that. Our homes are clear and unclear. We're going to get all that where it needs to be. So anybody listening, watching, re-watching, re-listening, this clearing will help you and your home. For everybody who's already liked the show, thank you so much. I love you guys so stinking much. Okay, I am going to go to the first caller. And the first caller is 651. 651, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christiana calling from Minnesota. Hey, Christiana, how can I help you? Um, I was wondering if you could connect with my son, Taylor, and maybe um, I was wondering, because I'm starting a new medication, and um, it's for weight loss, and if, they, if he just sees me getting um, healthier or if he has any advice, Okay. Um, Christiana, it, and your son's name is Taylor? Yes. Okay. And did he pass young? He did. Okay. Thank you. I'm seeing very a very young... I, I'm seeing two different things, but I want to make sure that I'm connecting with the right the right thing and I I'm getting goosebumps so I'm assuming this is the right um I am hearing um this is more of an emotional for the weight loss this is emotional and psychological and a bit of stress so I'm gonna start clearing that for you and anybody listening huh <sighs> I mean, it's going to make me want to cry, everybody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I'm hearing that this is very, um, it's a, it, it's like a coat of armor or a protective coating that you use. Um, so we're going to clear that because if you're taking something to help you lose weight at this point, Let's clear all the reasons why the weight is there. So psychological, emotional, um, stress, let's clear, heal, release all of that, all that caused it and kept it. Now, Christiana, this might be a bit, um, this might be a little bit emotional for you as this clears. It might not. Sometimes people don't feel the emotions with it. Sometimes it just goes and that's okay. Um, and they never take anything you're not ready to give up, okay? If you feel like you need this to protect you, which I'm getting you do, so I'm also going to clear that. Um, the fact that you think you need this to protect you, not the protection itself. Um, we're going to clear, heal, release that and all that caused it. And we are going to... Um, let all of this go. Now, here's... Here's what, and I do a lot of hypnosis for weight loss and for stop smoking. And the one thing I know is that, that for many people, especially with weight, 
it, there's emotional, psychological aspects at, and uh, mental aspects behind this. Weight is a barrier protection, a, a, a number of different things. Okay. Um, okay. It, and what I'm getting is that if you go on this medication, it, it will be effective. However, it's, it's not a quick fix and it's not a temporary fix. It'll be a lifelong thing if you don't heal the reason why. Okay. So at least if we heal the reason why, okay. and then you're on any sort of like, if I love, I think I've, I've done some, I've, I've received some information that Berberin, which is a natural supplement which is the natural supplement to that that thing that all the stars are taking right now that's actually a diabetic medication but the stars are taking it to lose weight Bur it it stems from berberin is my the quickest easiest way i can say that and berberin which is very natural also will help you to lose weight uh, along with l glutathione those two things are very natural and will help you to lose weight also without putting uh, toxins in your body. But you do it your way. I am not a doctor. I don't know your everything your doctor knows, but there's just some food for thought. Now, what I'm going to say to you okay. also is that once this is healed, no matter what you're using, it should stay off. So we're going to clear, heal, release this. I do feel like you need to look at some things for your thyroid or maybe take some liquid iodine a little bit. Also, again, not a doctor, not a medical profession, just telling what angels are saying and make sure that your hormones are all, are kind of in balance. And again, that iodine, that liquid little ingestible iodine is going to go a long way with you. I mean, a lot. you're going to be like so happy you did that if you're not doing that already. Um, and one of the things I always tell everybody who is wanting to get their body back to where they want their body to be. Research foods that naturally burn fat. Like for example, cinnamon is a natural fat burner. If you put cinnamon on everything, you're gonna be burning fat with everything you eat. Pistachios, natural fat burner, um, things like that. But what I'm hearing, this will be okay. And again, um, I think you need to, be aware two to four weeks in of anything new that starts happening with you um, because it might be a side effect. Side effects don't always start day one, so we don't always associate it with what we're taking because it starts two weeks in or four weeks in when we have that buildup in our system, that's when we start to get side effects of medication. So if something else starts to happen two to four weeks in, and I feel like it could be heart palpitations, and I feel very anxious right now. So I feel like if that starts to happen two to four weeks in, or between two and four weeks, I'm hearing about a month or within a month, you're going to want to ease back or maybe reconsider what you're using. But go ahead and start it if you feel like that's right for you. I do feel like you're going to find something a little bit more natural that's going to be more helpful than this. But for now, you can try this and see where it goes. And here's, um, okay, so Taylor is saying that there is, um, there's a change coming you look at what happened okay and the, and i get goosebumps on that and you know what you know why because that's when what when we can look at things differently that means something is healed when we can have a new perspective on how things happened that means that something is definitely healed and for you and everyone who has lost anyone that they love um, we have healed from this. I get a no, let's clear, heal, and release that. And uh, all that caused it and kept us. And I'm getting that you kind of blame yourself a little bit for this. So we're just going to heal, clear, and release that. There's nothing you could have. You know, I, 
I'm going to say this, whenever we lose someone, like even when my mom passed a couple of years ago, I felt like I should have been able to do something to, to change it. And she didn't even live with me. She was very mm -hmm. independent. Um, but we're just going to kind of go through and heal all of these things. And um, the other thing I'm getting for you, Christiana, is if you're on a medication, the okay, so the medication and side effect thing, if you are already on a medication, put the name of the medication in a search with side effects and see if one of them isn't weight gain. Okay. So if you, I, I hope that makes sense the way I said it. Okay. So if you are on a medication right now, any medications, and you don't have to disclose that, that's private. Um, but if you are on a medication, you may not know that one of the side effects of that medication is weight gain. So you might if this is you or for somebody else who's listening, whatever, uh, you might want to put in your 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 the name of your medication, even if it's a if it's a generic, use the generic name and put it in and side effects. And if weight gain comes up as one of them, ask for that to be swapped out because that'll be very helpful also. Whew, and that's where we are with that. OK, <laughs> is this helpful, love? <laughs> Yes, uh, thank you for the reading. You are so welcome. And um, he is singing that song, You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. That's his song to you, okay? Aww. So I hope that okay. is helpful. I hope this um, this helps you on your journey. And I look forward to hearing from you again, okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing day. I'm going to go to a question on the YouTube chat. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, happy Wednesday, Sal. Um, Elizabeth, hi, Tony. Just wondering if you see my car settlement coming to an end soon. They're waiting for a final document. They're waiting for a, doc, a document, Elizabeth. Um, is this document coming soon? Somebody's, some, whomever is supposed to do this document, who's ever supposed to write this up has it. It's just like, I see like, I know things are done on the computer now. So the way I see it is just whatever, but I see it just sitting in a pile, not being attended to. So, um, is this the right timing? It's also not quite the right timing. I'm feeling like a month and a half. A month and a half, it's going to settle. No, in a month and a half, all the all. Every, when is it going to settle? Okay, what I'm getting, Elizabeth, is within four months, everything should be said and done. And sometimes, if we try to rush things, uh, it might hurt our bottom line. So what I'm getting here is allow it to, even though I know sometimes we really feel like we need that now, um, what I'm getting is allow it to take its time because I feel like one more thing is going to come in that needs to be covered or taken care of. What There's like something... Yeah, there's this... There's something that... You just want to make sure everything is in there. You don't want to rush this because once it's done, it's done. And so there's something coming forward within a month that you're going to want to make sure that that detail is in there. Now, they may already have all of the details, but if this person rushes and does this now, he may forget to put that detail in. It might be something that's coming from a different office that if he doesn't get it before he writes this, it doesn't go in. And we want to make sure that's in. So allow the time that it needs, Elizabeth. I feel like within four months or so, it should be a done deal. But we want to make sure we're getting every last detail in there for you. OK. OK, we're going to go to 203. 203. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hello? Hey, hi. Hello? Hi. hi. Sorry, I didn't hear that on mute. This is Pat Tony from hey, Connecticut. Pat. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Pat? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm okay. Hanging in with all the issues, but I figured I'd do a, a light question. I'm a little embarrassed. Um, Sam, I have such a crush on him. He's my new mechanic. The one that's selling me a car. And Tony, I have not felt like this in 30 years. It's a little difficult to put aside. He's 12 years younger. It's probably not appropriate at all. Okay. What do you see? Um, and if I need to control it. Control it. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes when somebody goes out of their way to help us, we can, beyond our control, start to develop a connection of some sort with that person. Because it's been so long since someone has been kind to us in this way. Um, and it's easy to develop that nurturing feeling for them. Um, I'm hearing, you know, you never want to, especially as a woman, go into a situation where the guy has not given you the cues that they're also in yeah. the same place. And believe me, guys are not shrinking violets. If they feel that way, they're going to let us know. One way or another, they will okay. let us know how they feel. Um, I feel like this is, I hear the word unattainable. And maybe because uh -huh. of a situation going on with him that you're not aware of. Now, the situation doesn't always have to be that he's involved in a relationship. It could be a habit or something that he does outside of work. And what I'm just hearing is... Um, Take all emotion out and look at it practically or logically, and it's going to cut the crush right away. The feelings you have are okay. not feelings of love. They're feelings of graciousness or gratitude for all he's doing for you. Um, and uh -huh. we always don't we don't always know how to compartmentalize those feelings, right? Because as soon as we start having feelings, yeah. we just jump to, oh, my God, he's going to be my new daddy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. um, but no, not always a new daddy coming in. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I, I think I may have just shared just a bit too much there, um, but but the thing, but we want to pull back and we want to look at not how are we feeling, but how are they? What are what's their tone when they talk to us? How are they looking at us? What are they feeling towards us? Because with women and some men. When we start to catch feelings for someone, when we're with them, we have those feelings and we're thinking it's because of them and it's mutual, but it's actually our feelings for them and we're very misguided and not if, nothing for nothing. Okay. If we can love that much, that's amazing. Um, but we have to step step back and logically look at how are they being towards what what are their cues they're sending out or how are they behaving to us and I feel like these he's a good person he's a nice person but he is not the person and actually if if I am being honest um I'm going to tell you that there is the potential Pat for somebody new to come in and it's going to be after something very um Okay, somebody new is going to come into your life, but it's going to be after a cycle closes out. And that's the best way I can say that for you. Um, it's, after this closes out? 
after a cycle, like something's going to leave your life and then okay. somebody new is going to step in. Okay. A new partner is going okay. to step in. Perfect. If you want that partner, I think right now your whole life yeah. is you already have like a partner, if you will. Um, I yeah. do feel like, but once, once that closes its door, then something new is going to come in and be fill that place if you want it. Um, okay. I'm not going to give a timeline okay. on that for all the reasons that I don't want to, um, because that, that there's a lot in the, when it comes to something, some cycles closing out, the timing can change. All yeah. right, sweetie, that is what I have right. for you. I hope that was really helpful. Tony, can I just ask, there seems to be almost like a, a twin soul connection, whether it's friendship or, or something. I mean, right away, when I was thanking him, he said, we're friends, you know, like after the first, first experience. Is that, is that nothing or is there a little bit of, you know, more connection, more spiritual connection than normal. I do believe that, that he is sincere. Um, here's what I'm going to say to you or how, how they would like to say it to you is soulmates. We have a tremendous number of soulmates in this, this life um, and soul family. Yeah. And, and some of them come yeah. in the form of people we work with or work, you know, who are friends, who are partners, who are family, um, right. people we pass once on the street and never see again can literally yeah. be a soulmate if they, they say, you know, they might say something that helps you. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what yeah. I want to say to you is, yes, I do believe he is a soul partner or a soul person in your life, but he might not be, he's a, he is a, someone from the other side that you're very connected to. Um, here's the way I put it. Until a guy asks you out to a formal thing, he ain't serious about you. Okay. Now, a serious okay, thing can be, a serious thing can be, Hey, we, it can be, there's a million different ways a guy can casually go out of the element that you're in and take you into a different element, a different setting. So you're in a work setting with him. So if he's truly interested in you, he might say something to the effect of, hey, you know, it, it would be really nice to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you at some time outside of the work setting okay. or hey we should go catch lunch sometime or hey there's this uh, race going on if that's not happening it's a work soul work situation now i do believe that this person is divinely guided by angels to help you at this time yeah yeah but yeah the at the level this person is helping you is the level they're supposed to be helping you okay love okay this is wonderful, Tony. When I talk to you again, I'll share you an amazing story that he shared with me about something that he saw on Worldly. So thank you. I knew I could get the right answer from you. And I had a feeling it was going to be this. And that's why I'm calling you. Yeah. And you know I what? That. In the future, you know, and, and I always say this, when we pull back our emotional feelings, our like love yeah. feelings for somebody, it gives them the chance to see, oh, wait, I missed that. Maybe I was missing something or not. Yeah. I feel like in this case, it, it will probably yeah. be a not, but I do feel like th that he is divinely guided in your life. Um, I'm not yeah. picking up that it's for that, okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you. This is going to help me just enjoy him more. We're supposed to go a couple of towns over to get the title and stuff tomorrow. So this will help me a lot to calm down and enjoy it more. And thank you, Tony. You're you, the one that's got the truth. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. And remember, it's sometimes it's a little bit difficult to, when we've been in a situation where we've been independent for so long and we've had to 
it feels like we've had to struggle and do everything on our own for so long. And then somebody steps up, yep. we can, and they're just yep. a really good person. Sometimes we can, we can, we can think, or we can be so excited or so happy or so relieved just that somebody's there and helping us that, you know, the, the bridge opens and that's it. Um, in this case, just, you know, Kind of stay in place with your feelings. Okay, love? Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you. God bless. Talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. You are welcome. God bless, Pat. And I can't wait till we talk again. I am going to see... Um, uh, am I taking karaoke? Sal wants to know. Am I taking karaoke requests? Um, Sal... Uh, sure, but no guarantees on that. Um, okay, Jessica, thank you for Mondays and Wednesdays. So much better for so many people. Oh, Jessica, I love you, girl. I love your face. You, yes, my pleasure, sweet girl. Um, hey, Kim. Lawrence beat. Yes. Okay. Caroline, I'm looking for a question. Mo D, long time. I miss listening. My work orientation was long, but I'm so happy I can reach the show now. Me too, Mo D. I missed you too. I was wondering what happened. I'm so happy you're back. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller as I kind of try. Oh, wow. Okay. As I went down, there's like Lots of questions. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer from Canada. Hey, Jennifer. How can I help you? I'm wondering, um, my kids, are, they're starting to, you know, get into their own, like, lives. And I'm wondering how, I, at this point, how I can best support them. Um. Okay, so the first message I am getting is you have created really responsible beings. You've brought them up very well. This is very, very weird the way I'm saying this, but I'm just going to go with it. You have brought them up well. You've created very responsible beings. Um, don't go into that friend mode yet. Still, I have accountability for them, but give them a little bit more rope, if you will. Um, but uh, also trust a little bit. If something comes up that you are suspicious or questioning, definitely stand on it and be very strong about it. But at this point, they're asking, you know, of course, still be connected and watch over them, but start focusing on you. And I hear there's a really good book inside of you that needs to come out um, and that you should start <clears throat> uh, focusing a little bit on the book and doing the book and starting to put some of that energy back into you while you allow them to become mature adults. Um, they're very, they're pretty solid. I'm, I'm going to say they're pretty solid. Um, but just the, the biggest thing I get is start working on your book. I don't, I don't know if you've thought about a book, but they're saying there's a book. There is definitely a book in you. Okay, good. Okay. Does that make sense All to right. you, love? Thank Absolutely. And yes, I, I know that I got to write a book. Yay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay. Well, now's the time to start, especially while you need to have something to bridge what's going to feel like a gap or an emptiness. Um, but it's going to be mm -hmm. perfect for you. It's going to be just perfect. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be all good. Um, and the more, okay. So the other thing I'm getting for you, Jennifer, is the more reward you give for the more accolades that you give for appropriate or proper behavior, the better your kids are going to be at this point. Like none of that. I'm so disappointed with that choice. Well, it could have been worse, but I'm really happy that you came around and you see it this way and let's go from here sort of thing. Um, 
one of your children is very, 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 very sensitive, extremely sensitive, and reacts very strongly to any negative um, any negativity at all, really. So just knowing accolades or a uh, positive reinforcement is the way to go all the way with your kids is, is very important for you at this point also. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's my middle one. And you're absolutely right. And I have to stop myself because I, I don't know why it comes out of my mouth with him, but it does. So, so. Okay, and one of the things that I'm like getting with, uh, um, he almost just expects it now. And that the way for you, if if you're interested, I know this is unsolicited, but I'm, I'm just going to say it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. One of the ways is to like, um, just take a breath. I know it's so hard sometimes. Take a breath before you speak and then say, hey, can we come back to this in five minutes and walk away and then come back and address it? And, and I'm not upset. Okay. Just oh, give me a good. moment to think about this. Take take like five minutes. Think about it. Say, let's talk about this in five minutes. I want you to collect your thoughts. I'm going to collect my thoughts and we're going to have a conversation. And I think starting to picture your middle child more as an adult will be very helpful then like uh, let the past, what I'm hearing is let the past be the past and move forward from here, which is very hard. But um, just take that break for five minutes and collect your conversation the way you want to have it and then come back to the table is going to be very important and allow them to do the same thing. And then ask those therapy questions. I love whenever spirit says this, instead of looking at it like, um, at like you're the parent and you need to get this under control, take a therapist role and ask those open-ended questions. Well, okay, let's talk about how did we get here? How did it make you feel when this happened? What would you do if you were in my situation? Ask those open-ended questions and you're going to find out so much about your middle child that you never would have imagined. Um, sometimes your middle child can, their mind can kind of go into this really upsetting or I don't want to use the term dark place, but this very upsetting space where they're very down on themselves. It makes me very sad. Like as I'm tapping into it, it makes me very, very sad. Um, and so getting into that and understanding it better and then being able to give advice for the answers rather than what happened is going to be so imperative in forming the adulthood of this child. And I want you to come back and re-listen to that. Even I, even though it's coming out of my mouth, I'm trying to like let all of that soak in. And I'm going to come back and listen to this at the like 46 minute mark of the show approximately. Because that I think for every parent is really really important. And if you ask like, well, what, what brought you there? And they say, I don't know. Say, well, I'm going to give you five minutes to think about that. And then we're going to get back together and we're going to talk about how it ended up there or what you were, what, what happened? Because they're just expecting, they're just waiting for the smackdown and then to go into that dark space. It's like a, your middle child often feels like damned if you do, damned if you don't, I can't win. So why try? Um, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. In some yeah. occasions, not all of them, not all of them. And uh, running. Okay, endurance, endurance exercise is really important. Long distance running like cross country things along those lines, cycling long distance cycling. And if you can do some of these things with your middle child, that's going to be very powerful. Um, not everybody can run but cycling is easier on the body and it elongates the muscles. So cycling might be a better option for the two of you to go out and hit a, hit a path or a trail. It might be very empowering for both of you. Okay. Yes. And he is a track and field coach. Oh, awesome. So there you go. There you go. So yeah. I think getting yeah. into some of that with him and then get on your book, get on your book, 
get on your book is the next message I'm getting. Okay, sweetie? Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. And you are welcome. You are so, so welcome. Thanks for calling in. And until next time. Okay, I'm going to go back here because I thought there were no more, uh, like I, I was in my thing. So I'm trying to go back. Um, okay, Joy is here. Zay Lee, welcome to the show. I'm going to do Joy's question first. Um, if you have time, I wanted to ask about a test I'm taking. I wanted to know if I could not work for a few weeks to prepare or if working part-time is enough. I feel like you're going to need to work part-time. I keep hearing part-time, part-time, part-time. And you're going to actually, I know you're preparing for this test. You're actually going to need the distraction from work. You're going to need that little bit of time off to prepare. They're not saying go, you know, do a lot, but you're going to need the distraction of the part-time work to get to, um, to get to, um, uh, refocus on what the materials that you need for the test. Okay, Joy, I hope that's helpful. Uh, Mo, I'm going to take care of your question next. Um, right now, I'm going to go to 708. And for everybody in the chat on YouTube, and again, okay, you guys, real quick, if you want to call in the numbers 845-277-9131, push one if you have a question. If you're on YouTube, if you're watching live on YouTube um, and you put a question in at the end of the show, I try to go through and answer. Even though I go off air, I try to go through and answer the questions I did not get to answer. So after the show, stick around if you're on YouTube and, and let me know you're still there and I will answer your question for you. Okay, seven... 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Lynn from Illinois. Hey, Lynn. Um, my mother's name is Virginia. Okay. Is there anything specific you would like to know from her? Lynn? Hello? Oh, well, I lost Lynn, but Lynn, I'm hoping you're still listening. So I'm going to give you the message anyway, because her call just completely dropped off. And I don't think that's her fault. So Lynn, um, Virginia, I, I just feel this very regal feeling from her, like very proper or very um, well mannered is another way of saying that. And the one thing that she would want to say is you're on the right track. Don't look back. Keep moving forward and handle everything with sophistication and grace. I hope that makes sense to you, Lynn. And I'm sorry that I lost your call, but that is what she is saying. And I hope that helps you. Um, uh, Modi, my friend is going through this right now. Lots of issues with her weight for almost 20 years. Oh, yeah. You know what? have her listen to the beginning of the show with all the clearings for the weight. I think that's going to be amazing for her. Okay. Zaylee, your question will be next, but I'm going to go to, I think the next caller is, you guys, did I do 516? I feel like I did. 405. 405, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Natalie and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Natalie, how can I help you today? Thank you for calling in. How can I help you? I, thank you. Um, I was wanting to know if you had any messages from my grandmother. Her name is Juanita. If there was anything specific or if you get anything. Okay, so the first thing I see is a woman who, now whether this, if this isn't your grandmother, it's somebody with your grandmother. And she is a little bit fuller. But not, she would have never thought she was super thick or big. Now, this could be your grandmother when she was younger, or it could be somebody up there with your grandmother, but she's wearing very colorful clothes, okay? Now, what I'm going to say, mm -hmm. the first thing that your grandmother, um, okay, and there's also a man with her, and the man, I feel like he lost, um, I don't want to say he lost. His head was clean shaven. 
I'm sorry. Uh, whether it was his choice or not, his head at the at least in the end, his head was clean shaven. Whomever this man is, and I feel like he might have been taller than your grandmother. And this, uh, keep in mind, this could be okay. this could be her father also, okay, or a brother, whomever, because she's okay. up there with all of her family, okay. So the biggest thing I want to okay. say is she. The first thing that's coming through is she's saying, "Do the dance of life and dance with life," okay. Do the dance of life and dance with life. Um, life has a rhythm of its own. And you have to get into the rhythm of your life or your dance. Sometimes you're you're a little bit serious about things. This is your grandma, not me. I don't know you. The first time we ever connected, don't know you. <laughs> don't come at me. <laughs> but you have to be serious or you feel like you have to be serious because you feel like it's all like I'm if you're watching, you have your hands out and it's all right here. And if 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 like even if you open your fingers, something's gonna slip slip through you feel like you have to have such a tight grip on everything otherwise it's all gonna go to shy um so the first thing i'm going to clear i want to do this clearing for you and everybody because everybody needs this right now oh for the love of sweet baby jesus do we need this um we are enjoying our life i get a no let's clear that all that caused and kept this is and cleared, healed, release. Let's clear here, release that. And then we are in the rhythm of our life's dance. Oh, that is a mouthful. Let's clear, heal, and release that. <laughs> oh, that cause I kept it has been healed, cleared, release. Let's get that. Okay, the other thing I feel like um, I'm hearing, sweetie, is there are people who are there that would help you, but either you don't trust them or you just are the type of person that says, I have to do it myself or it won't get done or it won't get done right. But if you just allocate one little thing at a time, you'll find that the people in your life or a person in your life does want to help. And, you know, they, if they don't get it right the first time, you know, use that positive reinforcement to let them get it right the second time. That doesn't mean take it all on yourself. That means help them learn the way to do it. OK, you can't keep carrying okay. everything you've been carrying because you uh, for all the reasons there's like a plethora coming into my head of all the reasons why. But. They're saying, like, let some of it go. You're going to be okay if you let it go. And I'm feeling like in your heart, we're going to, um, all the hurt has been healed. I get a no. We're just going to, like, there's an angel standing in front of you that's been waiting for a long ass, long butt minute. And um, they're just, like, reaching into your heart right now. And when I say Black, it doesn't mean like dark, ominous. It just means it's something that hurt. And they're reaching in there right now. And they're just like scoop it, scooping it out and taking that because it's so old. Like if I asked you what it was, you would think it was the last thing, but it's actually the first thing. So they're taking that now. Um, and then I hear that song, wrap it up, I'll take it. And that's the angels obviously saying they're going to take it. And they're taking it now. So you might feel this relief or lighter or happier. And you can trust again. Okay. You just just know you can trust again. And they're not going to, you know, you have free will and choice. And you have to pay attention when somebody isn't acting appropriate. But just bring in appropriate 90 people. Seconds. Just bring in appropriate people. Okay, love. And I, unfortunately, I have 90 okay. seconds left, but they want to say all of them want to say they love you so much and they are with you and they are watching out for you. And it's going to get a little easier now. And thank you so much for calling in. Um, I hope that was helpful, love. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You are so welcome. And I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon. So you can call back and uh, we can finish out anything or start on something new. Okay, love? Yes, baby. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. And I hate, oh my goodness, you guys, that is the hardest thing when the person that I have to let go because the show is ending and I want to just spend like 20 more minutes with her, like 
making sure she's okay, but I know she is because the angels have got her. I just know that. Again, if you, I will be back um, Monday at noon to do this all over again. Thank you.